Grand Rising, my friends, welcome back to the most beautiful subscribers that anyone could ever imagine in several dimensions. If you're new here, join us as we commune amongst ourselves and kind of figure out what's, what are we, what are we looking at around and at, at amongst us in this third dimension? Well, let's start off with some positive news. The Dow future is in the S and P's, Nasdaq's look positive for tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> the um, cryptocurrency market took a bit of the dive. You know, still above two trillion, but now Apple just crossed one trillion. Excuse me, three trillion. They're one trillion more than the entire cryptocurrency market. So just remember, we're still at a point where there's a company on the planet still worth more, not just Bitcoin, but the entire cryptocurrency market. I'm, I am, you know, in my mind, I wonder if that includes NFTs and de decentralized finance. I mean, and all of it, I imagine. So, Bitcoin dominance is at 39.6%. Ethereum dominance at 202 You can see Ethereum is, Bitcoin is at 43,629. Ethereum, 3,529. Binance, 471. Solana, 153. Cardano, 124. You know, things are staying pretty, uh, parity is still pretty well. Chainlink is up this week, and I think what Cosmo is up as well for the week still. And Phantom, the markets, you know, <laughs> that's why you use staking and liquidity pools and all these other financial tools to increase your total amount. So either through ups and downs, you know, you are increasing your total amount. It's all about riding the waves. Ethereum continues to burn. You know what? <clears throat> Here we're about that positivity. Positivity being we look out for those who looked out for us. And, you know, as simple it can be, you probably didn't even get them nothing for the holiday season, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you may celebrate in old days. Just any day may be a celebration, their birthday. Probably didn't get them anything, but you could easily just write a nice message down in the comment section. Forward this along to that person in your life who means a lot to you, who encouraged you, but you didn't get any gifts for. Don't lie. We both know. And not just both, all of us. 20 of us who watch these me and 18 19 people who watch these videos we all know <laughs> um before going on with that for those who have seen these images before these guys they're um brothers who were french and they were uh of royalty but they've been you know Come to find out, you know, long story short, they died of, of, of COVID um, days after one another. They were 72 or something like that. Uh, blah, blah, I'll say. I'm trying to see where their ages were. They're not saying. But I think I read it earlier they were 72. I may be wrong. Um, but French guys were royalty. They had a TV show back in France in the, the 70s, a science show. Supposedly, uh, they wrote do uh, doctorate papers, doctoral theses that other people say were, were, were gibberish, but they were, you know, received doctorates in mathematics and physics. Bogd Bogdanoff brothers. And uh, people said they were the uh, in the secret society that runs the world and... You know, supposedly it was huge in the, you know, crypto uh, love memes. So they took them and said they would pump cryptos or dump cryptos. But they died. That's sad. You know, these two brothers passed away. I don't know if they were vaccinated. My guess would be no, you know, if I had to guess. Not 100%. But, you know, and it looked like they really went nuts with the plastic surgery at some point, which was crazy as well. But for those seeing their faces, wonder who those guys were. <laughs> 
you know, read a little bit of something else, not going too much, but kind of fits with where I was going with this article today, which is United States Army, United States Army creates single vaccine against all COVID and SARS variants, researcher says. Within weeks, Walter Reed researchers expect to announce that human trials show success against Omicron and even future strains. So supposedly the army after they first got, you know, lat almost two years now at this point as <sighs> Time flies in a way, it seems. I, I lost someone today, you know, someone very close, a very great human being. He, he, he was a, a good man. He had two little girls. Uh, the, the entire world is at a loss today for this, this individual, um, you know. So even to this point, it's still taking lives and, and, and you know, no no rhyme or reason good bad it's it's just you can only imagine now looking at history and, and how we we remember looking through this time but or living through this time walter reed the army research institute of research uh first got the uh very early on Early in 2020, very early on, Walter Reed's infectious diseases branch decided to focus on making a vaccine that would work against not just the existing strain, but all of its potential variants as well. Walter Reed's spike variant nanoparticle COVID-19 vaccine or SPFN, SPF, SPFN? I don't know what they're going to call that. Completed animal trials earlier this year with positive results. Phase one of human trials wrapped up this month again with positive results that are undergoing final review. So... Hey, the United States Army from the beginning jumped into it and really started to work on not just, you know, I was reading what one article to call it like a super vaccine. But, you know, they looked for a, a let's find one that's going to solve this problem going forward. <laughs> Definitely for us, which you got to admire. So um, really excited to, see, to hear about the the. The announcement that, you know, like I said, this hasn't been announced yet. So really excited to see about when this comes out. And, you know, hopefully, you know, everyone can understand this is, you know, a story uh, today about a young lady in California who was elected official um, who contracted the virus and died with, you know, a very short time span. And, and um, you know, just you, you want people to say this has nothing to do with. This the the virus doesn't care about any of our beliefs and about anything. <laughs> so, you know, we are all in this together. The virus doesn't care about any any belief about anything that we care about. You know, we 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 try to uh, subscribe that it oh it, it thinks like this and that. No, it doesn't think like anything. It just it will kill all, any human being that it gets its chance to. So we are all in this together to protect one another. And, you know, that's how we should be. Scientists create a biological quantum circuit in <laughs> this kind of grisly experiments with tardigrades. So for those who don't know what a tardigrade is, almost microscopic organism, you know, complex multicellular organism, very tiny and very tough. You know, it's probably some on the moon right now from, I want to say, Israeli mission. Double check that. Oh. None of what I say is ever financial advice. And I forgot what I used to say, and we're bringing that back. Go get that, go get that popping, which is because I'm not your advisor. Not your advisor <clears throat> in matters of finance, in matters of medical or health or well being or anything in this world. This is all entertainment, fun, things I do for myself. If people around me who, you know, we agreed and they say, hey, yeah, OK. And we all agree on things and I mangle things and I get things wrong. So double check, but don't do your own research. So many people do their own research. Listen to people who are smart and intelligent, who know what they're talking about and who seem to not have an ulterior motive and listen to what they say, you know. <laughs> and sometimes you just got to be like, I don't understand it. You don't need to understand. Just do, just sometimes just do until it makes sense. Then you'll be like, oh, okay. Now, now I'm glad I did that. Uh, tardigraves slash water bears 
tiny organisms, multicellular, that are super tough. Um, they can survive the vacuum of space and so even down to almost being frozen to near absolute zero, which is way colder than we think. We're talking about even colder than space zero. And so that's what happened. They took some water bears or a tardigrade or a tardigrade, I'm not sure. I think it was just one. Uh, they put a tardigrade in a state where it was directly connected. So they froze it down and then was able to put it near some uh, qubits. And they think they, they think some arguments people have been arguing about where they really entangled with those qubits down at that um, at that level. So but interesting that we were saying, are we getting to the point where we can entangle now? Granted. Or if you didn't, you know. A target is still not moving around at that cold temperature. It, it goes into a state of, of protection, hibernation, quote unquote, slash, slash, that uh, making a quotation size of my fans, I'm saying that as well, that allows it to survive in these rough environments. So it, you know, it goes in a way where it's not, it's conserving energy, able to resist, you know, you know, the, the harshest things we can imagine and think of. And, you know, not that, you know, you can get rid of tardigrades, don't get it twisted, but, you know, pretty harsh things that we would think that nothing could survive in. So, that's the question. Is it real or is it fake? So, yeah, I like the way they make it sound. It, it, it's horrible in the way that we, we, you know, kidnap these things and, you know, they water bear something like such a cute name and, you take it to a lab and you're freezing it down to, you know, negative 276 degrees um, Kelvin. Yeah. So, you know, we go say we go do. But. I, that's probably quite honestly, though. How do I I'm trying to express what's in my head right now. The devices that connect with us, our thinking, the way we think as humans, will probably have more quantum properties than non-quantum properties. Because my thought is that if there's quantum processes, then we, of course, have to operate on quantum processes, if that makes sense. So if you try to just approach it from a classical standpoint of, you know, electrical signal, electrical signal, you're missing out on... Um, probably another layer of information. More important layer of information is probably occurring as well. So, But I may be 100% wrong, like I said earlier. I'm wrong a lot. And so entertainment, you're looking at a crazy person. Not crazy, I want to say that word like that. Tim Cook said Apple is looking at cryptocurrency. Here's what the company is likely to do. We're not going to go into all the speculation. This person has no idea. I'm just going to go a little bit. So Apple, $3 trillion company. Just give me their props. Hey. Um, and I probably should do a future of Apple and future of Tesla as well, because I invest in those companies and believe heavily in the future of those companies. And, and that's a great idea. So we'll do that. A few weeks ago, Apple CEO Tim Cook made headlines when he said he personally owns cryptocurrency. Not which one? And they can tell everyone I go in that. Well, mentioning that Apple, we'll get his words. It's something we are looking at. But what is what is Apple thinking about with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin? It is something we are looking at. It's not something we have immediate plans to do. I would characterize it as there are things that I would not do, like our cash balance. I would not go and invest that in crypto, not because I would not invest my own money in crypto, but not because I don't think people buy Apple stock to get exposure to crypto. Understandable. I mean, but that's like, do they buy to get exposure to dollars? Apple has a big giant war chest, like 200 billion, supposedly in like cash or cash equivalent. So I guess basically, yeah, you do kind of. So if they want, so if they, so if they want to do that, they can, you know, invest directly in crypto through other means. And so I would not do that. I'm not planning to to in the immediate future to take, I don't know if this is how you're talking about, I'm reading it crazy. I'm not planning to in the immediate future take crypto for our products as a main of tender, but there are other things that we are definitely looking at. I think the, the translation probably was all jacked. Um, 
So what could Apple be thinking about doing with cryptocurrencies in that way? Using their payments, of course, that's probably going to be one of the not necessarily to buy Apple products, but in a way, a means of like Apple Pay, you know, using cryptocurrencies to speed up and use through those transactions. Um, this one this person said they think they may set up a um, a like a, a, a wallet where you can purchase and, and store cryptocurrencies on your iPhone in the cloud. You know, and then later probably come with a hardware component or in some way allow hardware components to interact with the phone. Uh, Cause I think I'm, I'm, because I'm thinking I heard they were getting rid of the charging port for the next generation in the sense of just going to the complete induction charging and Bluetooth and devices in, and that wouldn't work for a hardware device. That's why I was pausing and like, well, if they just don't have no way to, to connect, then there ain't gonna be no way to put no hardware device in it. Oh. Oh no, okay, yeah, that was some, something I would do talk about in another video. I was thinking, I was like, oh no, but that's something for another video. But Apple is getting involved with their with the crypto. So yay. Amid regulatory woes, Binance buys swipe for crypto card integration. For those who don't know, swipe is a very huge behind the scenes kind of payment processor that visa i think visa bought or did they use and leading cryptocurrency visa card issuing platform um, but binance had acquired a huge stake of it over a year ago and now they exercise their rights on it and just taking over swipe so they will be able to be like the largest credit card issuance company in the world that's using cryptocurrencies so I imagine that other companies like crypto.com may have to pay a, a, like almost like a, a tribute then to Binance I'm not 100% on all of that but from the way it seemed like it works let's, let's see what they said here the exchange noted Binance and Swipe worked with regulated and licensed entities to issue Visa cards with Swipe acting as Binance card program manager and technology platform. Swipe also works with strategic partners to issue cards in permitted regions and markets. You know, and a lot of this is Binance trying to, now I don't want to speculate and say that in a negative way, but in a way of buy themselves to legitimacy because it implies they're not legitimate in a way. And, it, and I think people try to put a lot of dirt on Binance name, but I've yet to see anything concrete that said that they were uh, doing any practice that was anything that was um, um, harming their customers, the end users. You know, a lot of it is just that it's about control. And so they'll they have to bend in, you know, bend the knee and, you know, pay the tithing. And when, when, when it gets all said and done, they'll, you know, go, you know, get rebuked and blessed and then be back on this merry way. And, then, you know, we, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that. But that's a big move, though, because, you know. That's a big part of, you know, now you're just going to if you go wipe out Binance, you go to take out, you go take out Swipe, too, or you go have to force them to like sell off Swipe. And, you know, it's a long story, but the powers that be would probably would be in trying to control it. <laughs> and so, you know, hey, we do what we can. You know, I hope no one here is trying to be the powers that be. You know, we 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 get in where we fit in, try to help those that want to elevate themselves with that. I love you, you love you, God loves us, and that's all that matters.